Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about bullet trace and how you can best set up to, to catch it. So, uh, first off, I guess there's a couple things that, um, that we should talk about. One is bullet trace is not a vapor trail. Bullet trace is a disturbance in the air when the bullet travels at supersonic speeds, so above the speed of sound. Vapor trail is what you see off the tip of an airplane wing, uh, that little trail of vapor. So, two different things. Now you can see a vapor trail with a bullet, but it's extremely rare. I've never seen it, um, but I can almost always pick up the trace. So, one thing you're going to need is a good spotting scope. This is a Redfield 20 to 60 by 80. I do prefer the, uh, the bigger objective in the front because it gives me a bigger area uh, of view, bigger field of view out there. So one thing you're going to want to do is you put the bottom, you put the target, it has to be in the bottom of, of that objective. So as you're shooting, the bullet rises and falls. So you want that, you want to be able to catch that trace all the way through that. So if you put the target, whatever you're shooting at, in the bottom of the objective, it gives you this nice big window up on top, so you'll catch that trace. Otherwise, it could go out of view and then come back into view, but it happens so fast, um, you don't want to miss that. So the other thing that's important is is where you set up behind the shooter. So um, in this case here, we've got the firearm up here. It's about six to eight feet um, in front of the person behind the uh, the scope, the spotting scope. Now, you you want to be off to one side or the other. Doesn't matter matter which side, right or left. And and you also want this. You want your spotting scope on the lowest possible power. Um, typically, anywhere between 20 and 30 on this one works great. I prefer 20. Um, you start getting up above 30, and things don't come into focus. Everything gets dialed into a, more of a pinpoint type uh, spot on the hillside or whatever you're shooting at, and, and you you're not doing yourself any justice by by uh, getting that 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 focus way in there. So just back it off a little bit. The other thing too that's important is um, when you adjust the parallax on your scope on your spotting scope. So uh, what I do is as I set this up, put it on 20 power, I get I get my target in the bottom, in the, in the bottom of the scope, and I adjust my parallax so it's it, it's it's nice and crystal clear. Then I back it up toward me. Now the, the target will go out of focus just a little bit, but what you're doing is you're bringing that that trace into focus. So you'll you'll pick that up a little bit better, it'll be a little bit more clear, and you'll get a real nice view of that. So six to eight feet behind the shooter, right or left hand side. You also want this, um, you don't want to be way up here with uh, with your spotting scope. You want to be just a little bit above the shooter. And what that does is keep you kind of in line with that trace. So um, let's take uh, let's take a look at some, at some bullet trace shots we got. We were able to get out uh, a couple times this last week and we got some pretty good, uh, or not, they're not great, but they're decent shots of uh, uh, slow motion bullet trace. So, um, one of the things that is really handy with bullet trace is you can you can help tell that shooter because you see exactly where that trace goes. So you can help tell the shooter, you know, when you're shooting out, you know, six, seven, eight hundred yards, thousand yards, you know, are they low left, high right? You know, um, you'll see where that goes, especially when you're shooting in an area where you don't you don't have um, a dirt or dust background that you know kicks something up that you can say, oh well, you know you can see right where that hit. A lot of times when you're shooting into brush, especially here in, in Western Washington, you, you don't know where that bullet went. If you didn't hit the target, you got no clue. Well, you get somebody out here spotting the trace, and we can tell you exactly where it went. Um, usually within just a few inches. It's 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 quite accurate if you if you take the time and get everything kind of dialed in, back that parallax up and get yourself set up uh, in the position with the shooter, you can really see where those traces go. So 
Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and let's take a look at some of the uh, slow motion bullet tray shots. Send it.